All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about ionization energy and the trend for ionization energy on the periodic table. Ionization energy is the amount of energy that it takes to remove one electron from an atom. And for the purposes of this video, we're going to keep it simple and we're going to talk about the neutral atom or the atom before it's formed any sort of bond. Here we're going to see two different trends. So if this is our periodic table, something like that. If we go from the left side of the periodic table to the right side of the periodic table, we're going to see the ionization energy change due to the effective nuclear charge. As we go from the left to the right in the periodic table, when we have our group one, two transition metals, and then our group 13, 14, and so on atoms, what we see is that our effective nuclear charge starts at plus one for atoms like sodium and lithium. And if you want to see that, you can go back to the, um, go back to the video on metals. Or plus two for the group, and then plus two generally across the transition metals. I know I said it's a little more complicated than that, but that's the basic idea. Plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, getting us all the way to plus eight for our noble gases. Something like that. Anyway, what we can see then is if we go from left to right, the effective nuclear charge increases. This is the thing that is attracting electrons to the atom. So as it increases, the ionization energy, which we'll recall, is the cost of removing one electron As the attraction to the nucleus increases, the cost of moving one, removing one electron also increases. So as we go from left to right, the ionization energy should be going up left to right. Now, the second way that we want to consider this is from top to bottom. And the key way to think about that is to remember that force decreases with separation. The farther two objects are away from each other, the less force. So these guys would have more force and these guys would have less force. So we also recall that as we move from top to bottom, so moving down on our periodic table, each time we move down a row, we add a new shell. What this means is that the electrons are now farther from the nucleus and as we said the further you get away from something the less the less attraction there is. So if there's less attraction between the uh, electrons and the nucleus because it's further away, that means the ionization energy again the cost of removing one electron because there's less attraction will be lower. So as you go from top to bottom, the atoms get bigger, which means less attraction between electrons and nucleus, which means lower ionization energy. I have here a graph of ionization energies. 
And what we can see is as we move across a period from lithium to neon, it increases as expected. And then whenever we start a new column, it drops back down so that we can see the decreasing trend when we go from top to bottom on the periodic table. So each one of these is where a new row starts. So every time you start a new row, it drops way down. That's because the effective nuclear charge goes from plus eight all the way down to plus one. See here it's plus eight, here it's plus one. And then in general, the atoms are getting bigger. Which means in general we're getting less attraction. So the small ones ionization energies get pretty high, then they drop and they drop. This group in here that's sort of interesting, sort of stuck all at the same spot are the transition metals. And that's where the effective nuclear charge becomes constant at plus two. And that's sort of interesting. You can see that there, you can see that there. And so um, the transition metals all have pretty common ionization energies. And then as we get into the non-metals, they get higher and higher with the effective nuclear charge going to plus eight. And then once we hit the highest and we have to start a new shell, it goes all the way down to plus one and we start the trend again. So ionization energy increases when we go up because of smaller atoms and when we go to the right because of um, more effective nuclear charge, meaning somebody like neon has the highest ionization energies or helium because he's so small. That's ionization energy.